guys, Stephen Womack, another day, another tutorial. As you know, I read all of your comments, so I get a lot of requests, and I read Giaro Giaratano. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm just gonna say Giaro. Um, I hope that's okay. I've been reading him a lot, so you guys wanna see how he edits his picture. Actually, it's an Instagram account that I myself have been following for a long time since I really like the content, really like the pictures, the outfits, the locations. So I had a lot of fun figuring out how to achieve the Giado look and I will show you today by only using the free Lightroom app and of course your smartphone. Now before we jump right in, let me tell you that I have presets for you guys, Lightroom presets, filters that you can get from my website. The link is under this video. Uh, check them out. There's also one free filter for you guys just to give something away Just make sure you subscribe to my channel since I'm posting daily and also get in touch with me on Instagram I'm always up for conversation because I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with how your pictures look using my filters um, That's super satisfying for me. So Link up with me on Instagram subscribe to my channel check out my website I've said enough, let's jump right in. This is the Giado inspired look. So first of all, we open up the Lightroom app and uh, we choose the picture, of course. Uh, I chose this picture in front of the subway um, in New York because Giado also has this picture in front of the subway in New York. Um, so I think it's a good opportunity to just uh, create the look. Now we start off with the light once again and hit the curve. Now I want you to copy the curve exactly as it is right here. So just move up the first spot a little bit and move down the second spot a little bit. And that's it already. So we're done here. Now what we want to do next is uh, take a look at the exposure. In this case, we want to boost it up a little bit to about plus 0.26. Then the contrast also just a little bit to plus 3. Then we want to take a look at the highlights. Uh, in this case, we're, we're going to leave them at zero. And the shadows, we want to pull them all the way down because he always has pretty dark shadows. So all the way down to negative 100. Then next, we want to go take a look at the whites. We also want to pull them down to negative 61. Then we want to change the blacks. Um, boost them up a little bit to about plus 16 in this case perfect and uh, that's it for the lights we jump over to the colors and since he always has really warm looks we want the temperature to be orange uh, at about plus plus 19 should be good and for the vibrance we want to pull that down a little bit In this case, negative 25 works perfectly. And the saturation, we also want to pull that down to about negative 31. It's perfect here. Now we go up to the color mix and we take a look at the red tones. We're going to leave the hue at zero and we want the saturation to be just boosted up slightly to about plus, well, not slightly, pretty much, to about plus 50 in this case. Now we jump over to the orange tones, and first of all, I want the hue to be more red, so we pull down to about negative 24 is perfect, and the saturation, we want to boost that up as well, in this case, to about plus 50, 58 is good and we're gonna leave the luminance as it is for the yellow tones We want the hue all the way in the orange area. So we pull it all the way down to negative 100 and That's it and then we want the saturation. We're gonna boost that up a little bit uh, for the yellow tones to about plus 50 55 is good and leave the luminance as it is as well. Now we jump over to the green tones. All we want to do is pull down the saturation all the way to negative 100. And um, that's it for the green tones in this case. Now the aqua tones, we're going to leave everything as it is. For the blue tones, we just want to change the saturation a little bit 
I want to boost that up to about um, 40, 43 is good and leave the luminance as it is as well. The purple tones leave everything as it is and the pink tones we're going to leave everything as it is as well. So we're done with the color here. We jump over to the effects panel and first of all we want to boost the clarity to about plus 20, 23 is perfect. Also we want to dehaze a little bit to about plus 14 is perfect and we scroll down and want a little bit of grain since Giotto's pictures always look really vintage so we pull up the grain to about plus 24 and that's it uh, we hit the split tone button uh, what we want to do here is we want to move the highlights into the blue area so a hue of 140 42 is perfect but pull the saturation down to about four so that's good here and for the shadows we want to stay in the orange area at a hue of about 25 and a saturation of about 13. That's good here. And now the balance, we want to boost that up to plus 50, 55, 56 is perfect. Just to soften it out into the blue tones again a little bit. So. Uh, that's good. That's a good color grade comes close to his uh, Subway look so we're done here with the split tone and um, That's actually it for the for the Lightroom. It's really really close to his look now He always has these dust and sprinkles in in his pictures So what you want to do now is uh, save to camera roll maximum available um, and now we use an app called Navy I've also linked it in the description and we add photo um, just take the photo now you see those filters down there and we choose the B filter and now you see it gets the dust and the sprinkles in the picture uh, so we want to do that and maybe minimize it a little bit pull it down a little bit towards the middle and um, that's it we want to save the picture and uh, there you go that's uh, my interpretation of the Giotto look. I think it's really close to the to the real look. Here's a little before and after, um, and I I like it a lot. I really like his warm and vintage edits. Um, so if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Also check out the filters on my website in the link under the video. And I'll be also happy to connect with you on Instagram. As I said, my handle is at Stephen Womack. Just add me on Instagram and show me what you got going. See you next time. Peace.